Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ian Sheriff. I'm the Academic Partnership Lead for Dementia at the University of Plymouth here in Devon. And I'm just going to give a brief overview of the Dementia Dental Guide that some of us have been working on and published in the last year. Um, the guide is aimed at um, surgeries, dental surgeries and dental staff. Um, it went out through the Prime Minister's group, uh, that I, one of the groups I chair, and um, my brief was to see how we could get dentists throughout the England uh, making their, their practice and their surgeries dementia friendly. And I think where I'm going to start with my short introduction, because I've done a longer uh, piece uh, look further down the programme, is to say I took the words of Tom Kitwood to um, emphasise what we were trying to do. And Tom says, where there is special knowledge without empathy, care can be detached and cold. But when empathy and personal knowledge are brought together, miracles can happen. And that was fundamentally behind the reason that we uh, wrote this uh, guide. We wanted to, people to have the knowledge, uh, and I'm sure they have the empathy, uh, to actually provide services to people living with dementia. We also consulted with people living with dementia, their families, uh, dentists, uh, dental uh, staff, um, and also uh, our students here in the University Dental School. And they were fundamental in helping us uh, think about designing uh, a, um, a dental surgery. So just as an introduction, um, I think this is uh, what I think at, at this time, and I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I think we all agree that a trip to the dentist is not everybody's um, idea of a fun day out. Perhaps it's something to do with being pinned down to a chair, knowing that your mask face will be just inches away from us. I'm talking about the dentist face just inches away from us. They will get to work with a drill or even rather large needle to start work could be anything that lasts up to half an hour uh, and very close contact and working away in our mouths. And that can either cause mild discomfort to a, say, occasional stabbing pains. Even knowing that dentists and dental staff have years of training, coupled with modern technology, uh, this means you really are, they are doing a professional uh, job. And um, not only to uh, uh, preserve our uh, teeth, but also to give us advice as well. And I think that's a, another area that we were going to tap into. But also during that process, they, they need to calm our nerves uh, and make us feel, you know, settled down and not and anxiety, suffer from anxiety. However, when you think about that process and then relate that to people living with dementia, then there is an awful lot that um, dentists can do to make that process for them uh, more understanding uh, for them, but also for the dental world. I think one of the things we tried to do straight away was to, in the guide, was to help uh, dental surgeries and dentists, uh, dental staff, receptionists, hygienists, was to understand the world of dementia. Uh, whilst some of them will have uh, awareness of this through family connections or maybe um, doing some of the courses available, but what we wanted to do was give a real arrowhead to that work. And we think that um, we covered some of the areas that maybe weren't in their training. Um, and we also wanted them to see the world of dementia through the person with dementia's eyes, but also the family carer. Um, we also wanted uh, for the whole process to be um, as positive as we can make it and not too onerous on the world of dentistry. We know, and you know this, that health and social care are actually over 
worked, etc. at the moment and the referrals coming in. So we want, having understood that, we wrote this guide with a, not a, just as a bolt on, but as saying part of the process that you do at, uh, do at the moment. So having got all that information and sat down with uh, members of the group here at the University of Plymouth, we started to write it and we did the format was uh, I thought quite interesting. So we wrote uh, one sort of segment on the place, one segment about uh, the people, persons, and then the, uh, the final bit was about the environment. And when you couple all those three together, you get a quite a nice overview of this work. The other thing we had to do was make it readable. I mean, all of you know, if you go to uh, a doctor's surgery or a dental surgery or anywhere, if the, the, the guy doesn't look inviting, then 10 to 1 people will put it to one side. So we managed to secure the um, work and support of a, a graphic artist, a cartoon artist, very uh, famous one, who is Tony Husband who writes in the um, private eye, but also does some of the major newspapers. He's also written a book about dementia. And uh, it was um, the way that he's portrayed and also the way that he portrays his drawings uh, are very sympathetic to the world of dementia. So that was um, how we started. Uh, and it was a small group of us. Um, and from that, grow uh, little acorns, grow trees and all that, the saying goes. But it's got the notice of a um, the chief dental officer for England who supported it. And um, they're now thinking about how they can run uh, ongoing uh, dental or de uh, dementia awareness uh, courses within the world of dentistry. So we've lit the fire and the guide is definitely being used. We know that because we've had feedback. I'll go into the guide more deeply in my second talk, uh, which is, I think, about an hour's time. So I've only got a few minutes to do this uh, talk. So the other thing that I'm very mindful of is the, um, the way that you can engage people in the uh, in the world of dementia, and I was heartened by some of the feedback we've had from people living with dementia and their families, uh, who have since the guide went out, uh, seem to have uh, a much better experience of uh, their dental treatment. So that's that's an inch by major an introduction, and I think the the overriding. Um, quote that I will use now is that when you get a small group of committed people together, they can change the world. In fact, it's the only thing that ever has happened like that. So I think in their way, these teams of dentists, dental staff, receptionists, etc., are implementing this guide. And in a way, they are changing the world uh, as far as dentistry for people living with dementia. I look forward to seeing you at my next talk, which is in about, I don't know, about an hour's time. So I've only got five, five and a half minutes with this talk. So lovely to talk to you. I hope to see you at the conference and do stop me and, and ask about the guide. I hope to have a lot of them with me whilst I'm at the conference. You all take care and thanks for listening. Bye bye now.